Howdy guys, W8AQ here, and tonight, or today I guess actually, we're coming to you from literally up on the roof. Great song, Beach Boys, back in the 60s, and maybe we'll talk about the, about the 60s a little bit. But yeah, I'm up on, up on the roof of the, uh, of the loft here, sort of a cool place, sort of an interesting place, giving you sort of the look around here. But since, uh, since I you know, up, am up on the roof, I thought, you know, why not talk a little bit about something other than, oh, other than what I usually talk about with bicycles and bicycling and trails and ham radio and shortwave radio, uh, and, and really talk a little bit about what really you know, got me to, to this point. And that's the fact that uh, those were all popular things for many of us, but especially me, back in the 60s. That's right, back when uh, up on the roof and the Beach Boys were, were out there and the Beatles and uh, the Dave Clark Five. An amazing time. You know, it was, uh, it was the, the best of times and the worst of times. Uh, those of us our age, especially, uh, you know, the, the males among us, were, were looking at a war in Vietnam that uh, scared you whether you wanted to go or not. It was a pretty, pretty scary time back then. And that draft notice, I think I was number 85, if I'm right. Uh, you know, that coming. And, uh, and that happened to, to a number, obviously. Uh, so, you know, hard times, but also fun times. There were fun times where, you know, you, you went out in the car, you drag race, sometimes you got caught, most of the times you didn't. Uh, you spent a lot of time, a lot of time, well, I, I never did any drinking, but I, you know, drank more than my share of chocolate milkshakes and, and Cokes and things like that. But, uh, but there were just, you know, interesting times. I remember, uh, you know, going to school uh, I went to a small school. I think we had about a hundred in my graduating class and uh, You know, it, it's hard to believe going back there and, and checking out the Facebook site now that I can't recognize anybody And I, I'm sure they can't recognize me uh, You know, I weighed something like a hundred pounds less than that I do now and you know and, and that's just part of uh, part of the whole thing I guess when it comes down to, to getting old, but but it's an, it was an interesting time, and I, I, I think in my little YouTube videos, maybe we ought to kick around some of the remembrances of the 1960s, 1950s. You know, honestly, I still remember uh, you know, going back to black and white TV. Uh, spent most of my childhood watching black and white TV. Convinced me to get a job in television that uh, I did for 43 years. So it can't be all bad. You know, Ozzie and Harriet, Lawrence Welk. Lawrence Welk, I, 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 what is the phenomenon with Lawrence Welk? If you're like me, you probably went over with your parents to maybe your grandparents' house. That's what I did. We watched Lawrence Welk every Saturday night. And back then, you wondered, what is it with these old people watching Lawrence Welk, right? You know, and they were you know, our age back then, so you know, it's been a long time ago. Well, Lawrence Welk still airs out there. That's right. There are still, I believe at least, a number of public TV stations that are airing Lawrence Welk on a weekly basis. I know I did back when I was programming a couple of stations, in fact, so. Uh, who would have thought? Did you ever think, back when we were sitting there saying, oh, Grandma, Grandpa, do we have to watch this? Can't we turn the channel? And normally turn the channel to one of maybe no more than two other uh, black and white stations. But yeah, they made us watch, and our generation today, somehow, we're still, still watching Lawrence Welk. Don't mean to ramble, don't mean to uh, be all over the spectrum, but, but I would like to talk a little bit about over the next few videos and love to get your feedback. If you want to subscribe and you know, hit the button down here and uh, you know, leave some comments. What are your thoughts back to the 1960s, 1950s? Uh, what were the good times? What were the bad times? We had both of them. We had, uh, had a number of both. Uh, if you think back, we never thought we'd make it to age 30. Now we're more than twice that age. We're old and sometimes cranky and definitely achy and looking at retirement or already retired and trying to figure out uh, where did all those years go by. I don't know. Let's talk a little bit about it from up here on the roof. Uh, again, Beach Boys, I loved them. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back soon. W8AQ over and out.